All right, all right. Welcome back to Geometry. Here we are in Chapter 3, Section 5. We're looking at equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. All right. First off, if you have a directed line segment, directed just means we're going in one certain direction. So in this case, we're going from A to B. So from A to B, they want to split this up. So we have a ratio of 3 to 2. So if we want to split this segment into a ratio 3 to 2, we have to have five parts. That's three plus two. That makes five parts. So we want to split this up into five parts. And then from A to B, it should be three to two. So this uh, this first part should be three. The next part should be two. Okay, so that's why a directed line segment, because it's from A. So we have a point P, a fictional point P, somewhere in here. And then we're splitting this up. So what we want to do is see how far is it from A to get up here, so from this point here, 2 to get up to 8. So from 2 to 8, that's 6 units, and then from 3 to 6, this right here is 3 units. Okay, and then I take each of these, and I want my ratio, right? I want from here to there, this here, to be 3 fifths of the full length. So I take the 6, times 3 fifths, so I do 6 times 3 fifths, because it's 3 parts out of the total, out of the 5. I add 3 plus 2 gives me 5 segments, and that would give me um, about, that is 1.8, no sorry, that is 3.6, 3.6, so it goes up 3.6, and then this right here, we want 3 times 3 fifths, and that is 1.8. And so then I would just add on the 1.8 to this value right here, to 3. 3 plus 1.8 gives me 4.8. So this is about at 4.8 for the x, and then up 3.6. So I'm going to add to the 2. I'm going to add... 3.6 to the 2, and that puts me at 5.6 here. So now my new point is at 4.8 and 5.6. 4.8 and 5.6. That's how you split that up into segments. All right, slopes of parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. Now we have to have a little disclaimer to say vertical lines are parallel because technically vertical lines don't have a slope. Right, but we understand if the lines are vertical, they're going to be parallel. Or two lines are horizontal, they're parallel. So parallel lines have the same slope. So M1 is equal to M2. Perpendicular lines, perpendicular lines have opposite slopes, opposite reciprocals. So the product of their slopes is negative 1. And horizontal lines are perpendicular to vertical lines. Remember, vertical lines don't have a slope. But I think we understand horizontal lines perpendicular to vertical. Otherwise, we have opposite reciprocals. Remember, opposite reciprocal, flip and negate. Opposite reciprocal, flip and negate. Opposite reciprocal, flip and negate. Perpendicular slopes are great. Oh, yeah. Good time. So, let's look at the slope here. This right here represents M, the slope. So, if this line, 2x plus 5 has a slope of 1, I would say m1 is 2. The opposite reciprocal, we take that, we flip and negate it. So then m2 is negate, means make it negative, negative, flip it upside down, 1 half. There we go. It's that easy. Per perpendicular slopes, opposite reciprocal. All right. Identifying parallel and perpendicular lines. So I'd want to see what are the slopes of the lines to see whether they are parallel or perpendicular. So let's look at line A. Okay, we have points negative 3 and 2, and then we have 0 and 3. Remember, change in y on top from 2 to 3, we have a negative 1, and from negative 3 to 0, Oh, sorry, we're going up 1 here, plus 1, and then from negative 3 to 0, that's plus 3. Plus 3, so that slope is 1 third. 
All right, then line B. Line B has two points, 0 and negative 1. 0, negative 1, and 2 and 0. 2 and 0. Change in Y from negative 1 to 0, we have to add 1. So that's 1 on top. Oh, what happened? So we've got 1 on top, that's the change in Y, and then from 0 to 2, we have to add 2. So that slope is 1 half. So we know these two are not parallel. Next, we have line C. Line C, the slope is negative 1 and negative 5. And then from there, we have 1 and negative 4. So change in Y from negative 5 to negative 4 is 1. From negative 1 to positive 1, the change here is plus 2. So 1 over 2. All right, and then finally, line D, we have negative 2 and 0. And then we have another point here, negative 3 and 2. Negative 3 and 2, want to find the slope there. So the change in Y is 2, up 2, and the change in X is over 1. And actually, sorry, we're going down 2, so that's negative and up 1. So negative 2 over 1. Now, this one, this first one we can kick out right away because there's no 3 in any of these. 1 half and 1 half, these two are parallel. Parallel. And then those two are perpendicular to this one. Opposite reciprocals. So then, as a final statement, we can say B is parallel to C, and B is perpendicular to D, and C is perpendicular to D. All right, write an equation of a parallel line. Parallel line means it has the same slope. First thing I want to write, M1 is 2. If they are parallel, a parallel slope, M2, will be the same. So that is also 2. It goes through this. 0.11. So we'll start with y equals mx plus b, plus b, and we'll replace x and y. Okay, y is 1. To find b, m is 2. 2, x is negative 1, plus b. Now we have negative 2 here, plus b is equal to 1. Add 2 to each side, and we have b equals 3. And then we can write the equation with these two. y equals 2x plus 3. All right, a perpendicular line, just as easy. Notice they try, they're trying to trick us here, didn't put this in slope-intercept form, so we have to subtract 2x from each side first. That way we get y is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Now we have the slope, m1 is negative 2, a perpendicular slope, m2. Then the perpendicular slope is opposite reciprocal, so this is negative, that one's positive, 1 half. All right, y equals mx plus b. We're going to find b by plugging in x, y, and m. Y is 3 equals 1 half of 2 plus B. Multiply, and that gives you 3 equals 1 plus B. Subtract 1, you get B equals 2. All right, and then we have M and B. So Y equals 1 half X plus 2. Oh, that was sloppy. Anyways. Moving on, finding the distance from a point to a line. Now, this one's a little bit tricky. Here's what our process is going to be. We need to make a line through this point that is perpendicular to this. That way I can find the distance, right? So we need to find the equation of a line, like that. And then we need to find the point where these two are equal. All right, so the first thing is perpendicular slope. So this slope right here, the original line, m is negative 1. So I'm going to find, that's m1, I'm going to find a perpendicular slope, 
m2 is, flip that and negate it, that gives us positive 1. All right, and then we're going through this point. So y equals mx plus b. That's 1 for, for a 0 for y equals x is 1, m is 1, plus b. Multiply those, we get 1 plus b equals 0. Subtract 1 from each side, and b equals negative 1. So now our equation for that line that goes through this point is y is equal to 1x, or just x, minus 1. All right, the other one is negative x plus 3. We need to see when are these two the same, because that's where they're going to intersect. So we're going to set these two, this equation, equal to this one. They're both solved for y, so I can replace y with this expression. So I'm going to take negative x plus 3 and set that equal to the other line, which is x minus 1. The point where these two are equal is their point of intersection. Right? So now I can add x to each side, plus x. That cancels it out here. All right, then add it to the other side. That cancels the x out on this side. If I'm canceling the variable out on this side, I'll cancel out the constant on this side, plus 1, plus 1. That cancels out here, so x is 4. x equals... Uh, stop. No, it obviously isn't. This is 1x plus 1x gives me 2x. 2x is 4. There we go. Divide by 2. And x equals 2. Okay, so now I have the x-coordinate of the intersection. I can plug it into either one. I can plug it in here or here. I'll do this one because it's easier. y equals 2 minus 1. y equals 1. And therefore the coordinate is 1 for the y and 2 for the x. It's 2 and 1. So now I found the point of intersection. All right, now I need to find the distance between this point and the point of intersection. Distance between two points, distance formula, and go. The distance from point 1, 0 to 2, 1. Plug it in, subtract their x values, 1 minus 2 squared, plus subtract their y values, 0 minus 1 squared. All right, that gives me a distance of, this is negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared, plus negative 1 squared. That's 1 plus 1, that's the distance of square root of 2, or approximately 1.4 units. All right, there you have it. That's about all the fun we can have today. Good times in the Matherhood. Check back again next time for another fun lesson with Mastermind.